Hi, just a quick follow-up video on the multimeter uh, temperature trick thing, how you can measure ambient temperature. I thought I'd put some multimeters in the fridge and actually um, see if they actually go right down. I've left them in there for a couple of hours. So let's have a qu squeeze. Sorry, I don't have very good uh, light in this part of the thing, but I've got a Fluke 87. Let's turn it on and 12 because well the temperature sensor's just gone up but let's get some probes oh, i should have a shorting link and there we go if i short that out the probes 6.3 degrees that sounds reasonable let's get the 121 gw and whack the leads in and showing seven six yeah six point four something like that let's short that out that, that's the internal temperature and seven there you go pretty darn close so that's excellent so that proves that that actually works with the key site here and it's got 4.4 internal and if i short that out come on try to short out with one hand 3.8 there you go so that works a treat. So there you go. Unfortunately, like the flute, we just don't know what the internal sensor is at yet. But considering that it actually reads down around that six degree uh, mark, then that's also confirmation that the fluke is doing exactly the same thing. And shorting the probes out gives you that ambient temperature of 5.6. There you go. Neat. Oh, it's going down. It's dropping. It's dropping. Oh, there we go. It just keeps going down and down and down and down. That's interesting that that one has drifted all the way down to four degrees now. There you go. But anyway, that goes to show that uh, uh, the reference, of course, um, for the thermocouple measurement is when you short the leads out and you produce zero volts across the input, that means that you're getting um, the ambient temperature of, well, the ambient temperature of the in, well, the temperature of the reference, the internal reference uh, temperature sensor. So there you go. Neat.